In a past video I show you how to create an Android app and control any output of the Arduino with it by sending commands to the Arduino using a Bluetooth connection. But a lot of you guys ask me how to receive data from the Arduino instead of sending commands. In this video we will see how to do that and see a few examples like for example reading on your smartphone the value of a potentiometer or a sensor connected to the Arduino and finally merge everything together in an app that could both send and receive data from the Arduino. So let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back! We have already seen how to create a simple app that will send commands to the Arduino and control motors, LEDs, relays or any kind of module with it. Now I want to show you how to read data from the Arduino. The process is more than simple, so I will show you a few examples of what you could do in order to improve your skills and make an idea of what you could create using this setup. I've used the HC06 Bluetooth module that has a WART, RX and TX communication. This is the connection that you have to do between the module and the Arduino, but before we start make sure you will always disconnect the RX and TX pins each time that you upload the new code. Those pins are the ones that the Arduino uses to burn the code to the chip, so you can't have anything connected to them while uploading. First, let's start by reading on the smartphone the value that this potentiometer gives us. Connect 5 volts and ground to it and the middle pin to analog pin A0 of the Arduino. Inside the code we read the analog value. Since the ADC of the Arduino has 10 bits, we will have 2 to the 10 values, which in this case is 1024 points, for a range between 0 and 5 volts. That's why I divided the analog read by 205, so I would have values between 0 and 5 volts. Ok, so pay attention. When we design the app, we will see that the Bluetooth blocks could receive text and numbers of a defined amount of bytes. In the Arduino code, we could send one byte using the serial write function, or send text using the serial print function. Since in this case the value that I want to send is a flow type, so I could have decimals as well, I will use the serial.print function and send the value in a text format. That's it. This is the final code corresponding to this schematic. Now let's go over the app. Open App Inventor and create a new project. I'll name this one Voltage Read. This is the screen of the app. As in the past tutorial, we first have to add the Bluetooth connection list. I'll add a new horizontal arrangement and inside it I will add a list picker. This will contain the list of all the Bluetooth devices synchronized with the smartphone. I'll give this list picker an image with the icon of a Bluetooth connection. Next, I add a new horizontal arrangement and inside it I will add three labels. The first one will have the text value. The last one will have votes. And the middle one will have the received values. Finally, we should add the non-visible components. First I'll add the Bluetooth client and finally the clock. In the previous tutorial we didn't need a clock, since to send data you don't need that much synchronism. But in this case, to receive data we do. Set the timer interval to 100 milliseconds and now let's go to the blocks coding of the app. As before, we should first create the connection part. We add the before picking block for the list picker and add the set elements to the Bluetooth addresses that the smartphone will have. After the Bluetooth device is selected, we will connect to the selected module with these blocks. Ok, now let's receive data. I initialize a global variable and I'll name it receive data and with a value in the text format of 0.0 .0 since that will be the initial value. Now each time the timer is looped, which in this case is 100 milliseconds, we will check if a Bluetooth connection is established. 
If yes, we check if there is data coming towards the smartphone by checking if the bytes to receive value is higher than zero. If yes, we set the receive data value to the receive text with these blocks. And finally, we set the middle label before to have the text that we have just received. That's it. Now select build and once the app is ready, copy it on your smartphone memory. Open your file manager and install the app. Before you do that, make sure you have enabled the unknown app application in your smartphone settings. Now activate Bluetooth connection and search for devices. Start the Arduino, upload the code and once uploaded connect the RX and TX pins. Once you find the HC06 device, you have to pair to it using the 1234 or 0000 password. Now open the app and click the Bluetooth icon so you will open the list of devices that you have added in the app blocks. Select the HC06 and there you go. We are now receiving the voltage of the potentiometer. This example is very basic. We could do the same with this distance sensor. In this case, each time that I detect something, I will set the label color to green and write detected. I do that by sending the letter D for detected and N for nothing. In the code blocks, using an if statement, I decide if I detect something or not, and then change the color of the label to red or green and write detected or nothing. You have the app, the code and schematic of this example in the description below as well, and also all the steps on my webpage. For the next example, I will use serial.write function, since I will send data with values below 255, which are 8 bits. What I want now is to graph the potentiometer values. For that, I insert a new horizontal arrangement and add a new canvas. The rest of the app is the same. Now in the block section I will add this in the timer loop. We check if there is data to receive. Save the previous values of X and Y data. Increase the X value by 1 each loop and next save the received data of Y value. Finally, we draw a line between the last and present data. That will create a graph with the received values. Finally, whenever I reach the maximum X value, which in this case is the full width of the graph, I reset the chart and keep plotting. As you can see now, I receive a 1 byte number. That's why the height of the graph must be 255 pixels, since that is the maximum value that we will receive. Save the app once again. As you can see, we receive the potentiometer data and graph the value. This example could help you make a very interesting project. Ok, these examples were something more than easy, but I just wanted to complete the last Android app and Arduino tutorial. Now you know how to both send and receive data from the Arduino, and it's up to you how you will use this and design your own app. Check my webpage for a more detailed tutorial of this with both text and photos. I hope that you enjoyed this short tutorial, if so, don't forget to click the like button like crazy and share the video with your friends. If you have any question about this video or any other, just leave it in the comment section below or on my Q&A page. Also, don't forget to subscribe and watch all of my other great tutorials. If you consider helping my project, check my Patreon page as well. Thanks again and see you later guys.